Hi everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series Guide. We kicked off in our last guide yesterday with an introduction to the Ultra Series. Now we've already played through the Sun Series, through the Moon Series and now we're entering into the Ultra Series and unlike going into the Moon Series where you just had that transition with Z moves, there are a lot of new mechanics, new Pokemon available to us going into this. So in the introduction guide that I did yesterday, it just recaps everything about the Ultra Series, giving you that kind of basic knowledge that you need going into the Ultra Series, some ideas, there's some sample teams in there for you to try out to get you started, so just to really encapsulate everything that you need to know going into the Ultra Series, so you have a really good time, a successful time, and it gets you off the ground running, so hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did miss it and you'd like to go and check that out, make sure you do hop up. I'll get it right, it's up here. There'll be a card there, it'll link you back to the introductory guide and you can check that out, make sure that you haven't missed anything there. But getting on to today's guide, this is episode two of five. Like I mentioned in yesterday's guide, the schedule for when the guides will be coming out will be detailed at the end of the video. But today's guide, number two, we're looking at Primal Kyogre, getting right into the depth of the Pokemon themselves and what better place to start than with Primal Kyogre. So before we get into anything, as always, if you enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss when these guides do drop as well as our daily battle series. Our flinch squad circuit stuff and restream things as well everything on the channel vgc related make sure that you leave a comment down below because i love hearing from you guys any thoughts on the guides themselves anything you'd like to see in the future and just generally what your thoughts are going into the ultra series what you're most looking forward to about the whole series so without further ado guys let's hop into it so starting off with a pokemon overview as we normally do we've got primal kyogre when it a primal reverts from Kyogre, when it hits the field, it is got to be holding that blue orb. It will revert into primal Kyogre. Now it gets a buff in its base stats and it also gets a brand new ability called Primordial Sea. Now this is one of the things that is the draw to primal Kyogre, making it very strong. So unlike normal rain, we mentioned it in the introduction guide, Primordial Sea activates when Kyogre is brought onto the field and does not leave the field until Kyogre is either fainted it switches out or another primal weather switches into a variety it being desolate land or delta stream one of the bonuses that you get with primordial sea is whenever it's active on the field all fire damage dealing moves will fail so they will not hit anything on any side of the field as long as primordial sea is in effect it still gets the added bonuses of swift swim all of the other things like dry skin that really normal rain has the secondary effects of and also giving water type attacks that 50% boost. So it is affected of course by airlock and cloud nine. So you need to be a little bit careful about that. But all of the other weathers that you normally see, sunny day, rain dance, hail and sandstorm, if they come onto the field or if they are used by a Pokemon to try and overwrite it, they will fail. Now Primal Kyogre keeps its base speed of 90, but does have an overall of 100 HP, 150 attack, which is just phenomenal. 90 defense, 180 special attack, 160 special defense, and 90 speed, as we've already mentioned, giving it a base stat total of 770, which is just phenomenal, making this thing incredibly strong. You've got the obvious weaknesses and resists here. Grass and electric are gonna be its big weaknesses, immune to. Nothing, unfortunately, because of that water typing, and then it does resist steel, fire, water, and ice. So just to recap those. So that is just a brief overview of Primal Kyogre. Now let's get into the nitty gritty, the stuff that you're here to see. We're gonna start off with some example spreads and partnering Pokemon. So the first sample set I'm gonna give you in this guide is a fast offensive Primal Kyogre. Now this one runs a modest nature, it runs a speed stat of 142, maxing out that speed stat on a neutral nature. EV spread of 28 HP, 12 defense, 212 special attack, four special defense, and 252 speed. The move set you're predominantly gonna see in this sort of Kyogre is gonna be Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, Thunder, a mix between those, so you're either gonna have 
Water Spout, Origin Pulse is the option there with the coverage being Ice Beam and Thunder and then Protect as a mainstay on the set. And just to give you an example of how powerful this Primal Kyogre is in the rain, a 212 Special Attack Primal Kyogre Water Spout versus a 4 HP, no special defense, Xerneas and Heavy Rain is a guaranteed one hit kill, which I'm sure you all knew anyway, but it's pretty powerful. Defensive calculation without very much defensive investment here, you can see a plus two Special Attack. 252. Fairy Aura boosted Xerneas Moonblast against this Primal Kyogre it is a guaranteed two hit call, so you can always, always know with even the tiniest amount of investment, this Primal Kyogre is gonna be taking those plus two Moonblasts from a timid Xerneas. Now we're gonna look at some restricted partners that you're gonna see commonly as we go into the Ultra series. We'll go through a lot of them as we go through this guide, but some to start us off, you're gonna see Evelto, a very nice partner for this kind of Kyogre build, Lunala as well. Both have access to that Tailwind, and then Xerneas also gonna be another nice partner in the restricted section. Some non-restricted partners that are gonna be very good, and you're gonna see commonly paired with Kyogre, you're gonna see Mega Salamence. It brings that Intimidate, it has a ground immunity, it has a Dragon typing as well. It's very complementary to Kyogre because you can switch Kyogre out when it's face down in front of a Groudon, when Desolate lands active, and switch that Salamence saying get an Intimidate off, be immune to those ground type attacks. So they work quite nicely in conjunction together. You're gonna have something like Incineroar. We've already seen how strong Incineroar is throughout this series with Kyogre and just generally in this format with its fake out support, pivot support, intimidate support, and fire and dark typing, which is extremely strong. And then another little addition there, we're gonna see something like Smeagol as well that does cover and protect that Kyogre, especially when paired with Xerneas as well. Some Pokemon checks against Primal Kyogre. Now, a big one is always gonna be the Primal Groudon. If you switch Primal Groudon in when you've got your Primal Kyogre out, then Desolate Land will overwrite the Primordial Sea and you will not be able to use your powerful water type attacks. Groudon being a ground and fire type, it is gonna be immune to the electric types and it's only getting hit neutrally from those ice beams. So. You do not want your Kyogre being locked into Desolate Land on the field against the Groudon. It is going to be very difficult and you are going to take a lot of damage from those powerful Precipice Blades from the opposing Groudon. Another check is now going to be Cortana. Now, unlike previous formats where you've had Kyogre potentially threatening things like Cortana and things like Tapu Koko with that Choice Scarf, you no longer have that. So Kyogre doesn't have that automatic speed boost that it would normally get from something like a Choice Scarf. These Pokemon like Cortana and Tapu Koko are naturally gonna outspeed Kyogre and can do phenomenal damage if you are not supporting your Kyogre properly or checking these Pokemon adequately. So they're just to name a few. We're gonna name a lot more as we go through these guides, but this is the first set. This is the fast defensive Kyogre set. And it also works nice with things like Rayquaza because Rayquaza obviously with that air lock, it can switch in even if Groudon's out on the field, get rid of that desolate land, and then you can fire off those water type attacks to get rid of things like Groudon that are causing a bit of a pain at the time. So we will move on to our next sample set, which is gonna be a Trick Room or Tailwind set. So it's kind of one of those middling speed Kyogres. It's very bulky, gonna be able to take an onslaught of attacks, but it can act well in Trick Room and well in Tailwind. So this is the idea of this Kyogre. It's not, it's not going too fast, it's not going too slow, Law kind of you dictate the pace depending on what you're playing and this is the type of Kyogre I personally like to play it's very flexible and when you can kind of scout out what your opponent's trying to do you can flip the speed around to suit you and really kind of hinder their ability to operate as well as they would like to so it does mean having Trick Room and Tailwind in your team but I mean you can easily squeeze that into a six Pokemon team now partnering Pokemon before we get into EVs natures or damage calculations you're going to see commonly Rayquaza is again going to be something that you're going to see always commonly paired with Kyogre because of that airlock ability because of the Delta stream as well that it has access to giving requires a double chances to always overwrite the desolate land which is the one thing that Kyogre really does fear and shuts it down hard. Rayquaza really alleviates that and just makes Kyogre even more threatening. So Rayquaza does have access to Tailwind. Whether or not you can fit that on your set is another thing but it can support Kyogre in that regard as well. You can have something like Sogaleo it does partner nicely with the Kyogre. Kyogre is a decent check to something like Primal Groudon which would normally threaten Sogaleo pretty hard but Sogaleo 
really enjoys the rain, especially when that rains up. It cannot be hit by any fire type attacks, so it doesn't have that to worry about. So as long as you've got your ground checks in place, you can build a really nice core between Sogaleo and Kyogre. So that's those two. And another one just to mention is going to be ho oh If we ever do get regenerated, this pairing would be ridiculous. Even without it, even with that pressure ability, Ho-Oh is still a very strong Pokemon in this format, especially if Groudon isn't carrying any Rock-type attacks, and Ho-Oh has a really nice time against it because he cannot be hit by this Precipice Blades. You can still throw out Brave Birds at it. Obviously, Sacred Fire is not going to be as effective now with its part fire typing, but it does, again, act a little bit like that Salamence. That Mega Salamence gives the alleviation for Kyogre to switch out pretty safely and then allow something to come back in for it as well. Then non-restricted partners are going to have a look at things like Mega Manetric, which has that Lightning Rod ability before it Mega Evolves, so you can pick your time perfectly when you want to Mega Evolve of Manetric to protect Kyogre from potential electric type attacks from say Tapu Koko and then when the moment is right you can mega evolve with Manetric get that intimidate support which is really going to help out Kyogre as well because it is weaker on its defensive side and then pivot out with a quick vault switch and reposition your board maybe get Rayquaza in this situation and you could ground on so all the possibilities are there and Manetric Mega Manetric is a very good partnering Pokemon for Kyogre I'm going to see another non-restricted partner very commonly played with Kyogre is going to be Bronzong it's very slow and Nice steel typing, good against Xerneas, has Levitate, Skill Swap, and Trick Room. Very good support options for Kyogre and allows you to set up a Trick Room. Get under that Trick Room where you've got the speed advantage, maybe Skill Swap to prevent the Groudon taking advantage with its Desolate Land ability or a Rayquaza with its Delta Stream and then nuke them with an Ice Beam or a Water type attack respectively. And then other partners are going to be something like Ludicolo. It's going to take full advantage as we've seen in past formats with that Swift Swim ability. It's got the Fake Out support there and as long as that Primordial Sea is active, it is two times faster than it would normally be and going to outspeed most things in the format. And it still has access to that Z move, so it can be a big threat and something that you need to really keep in mind and be aware of. Now, Pokemon checks again, you're going to see something like Zekrom. Zekrom is going to be as it is a dragging type, resisting those water type attacks. The ice type attacks it will be weak against, but it's going to be able to take at least an ice beam and then throw back a big, powerful electric type attack, which can potentially pick up a knockout onto the Kyogre. Now, Zekrom is another Pokemon that can carry a Z crystal, so you need to be careful with that. It commonly runs Choice Scarf as well, so that's something else that you need to kind of keep in mind when you are playing possibly against one. I don't know how popular Zekrom will be in this format, but you never know at the start of a format how things are going to pan out. You can probably Probably pretty safely say that you're not going to run into too many Zekroms though with Primal Groudon really predominantly keeping them at bay alongside that Xerneas. Another Pokemon check is going to be Toxicroak again as we saw in the Sun and the Moon series. Toxicroak going to be a Pokemon that just can sit in front of Primal Kyogre all day long especially with that Assault Vest with its dry skin ability not take any damage from those powerful water type attacks and start really chipping away at Kyogre or any partnering Pokemon. Toxicroak does have a much more difficult time in the Ultra series though this is one thing to just point out because of the presence of Mega Rayquaza for one with those flying type attacks that are th so threatening and something like Ultra Necrozma as well as the Primal Groudon with its Desolate Land ability. And another Pokemon check just to throw in here is going to be Gastrodon. It will have a great time against Primal Kyogre. It can throw out all of the attacks at once. It's not really going to be able to touch Gastrodon. And Gastrodon is one of those Pokemon that can sit in front of Primal Kyogre. And it does really threaten Primal Groudon as well because of its new fire typing. It has that ground resistance. So it can do a pretty decent job against both of those Primals. So if you can fit it into your team and make it work, work then it got a lot of potential to maybe do something in this format now getting on to the interesting bits we've got a bold nature on this primal kyogre we went for a maximum defense we went for an ev spread of 204 hp 228 defense 44 special attack 4 special defense and 28 speed that speed stat like we mentioned earlier gives you that raw speed stat of 114 which also allows you to utilize kyogre in an 
with icy wind or electro web so they're two things you can take advantage of with that 114 raw speed stat after one icy wind you'll be outspeeding all base 100 pokemon which is pretty nice now an offensive calc from this spread and set a 44 special attack primal kyogre scald if you decide to go down the scald route with it against a 252 hp no special defense primal groudon as long as the delta stream is active or airlock is active is a guaranteed one hit chaos so you do not worry about that at all and then the defensive calc is a 252 plus nature attack Primal Groudon, Precipice Blades versus this Kyogre is always a guaranteed three hit KO and that is unintimidated. So that's pretty nice. So you can get yourself into a position where you've got the Delta Stream up or the Air Lockout. You know for a fact, whatever the Groudon's doing in front of you, you're gonna be able to take three Precipice Blades from the Primal Groudon and kind of guarantee that you'll be able to beat it easily one-on-one -on -one, as long as that Desolate Land isn't active. So that is the more bulky kind of middle tier speed Trick Room Tailwind set and we'll move on to our third example set of this guide, which is the slow and bulky Kyogre. So we'll be running a minimum speed Kyogre for this one. 85 raw speed stat. We're gonna run with a quiet nature, zero speed IV. We're gonna go with an EV spread of 204 HP. 236 defense, 44 special attack, and 20 special defense. Now, again, move sets here. You can choose anything from water spout. Probably not wanting to go more water spout here, more origin pulse on this set. Then ice beam, scald, thunder protect. It's up to you what you want. I always prefer the coverage of having origin pulse, ice beam, and thunder. It gives you all the things that you need. Origin pulse isn't the most reliable attack, but you can get around that with gravity and, and other options to help support Kyogre there. Now, an offensive calculation from this specific Primal Kyogre, you're gonna see a 44 plus Special Attack Primal Kyogre Water Spout versus a 236 HP, 236 Special Defense Incineroar in Heavy Rain is a guaranteed one hit KO. So against that standard bulky Incineroar, as long as your Heavy Rain is up, that Water Spout is gonna absolutely destroy it. And Incineroar is one of those Pokemon that is not going away. So you're gonna have a really good time against the Incineroar as long as your Primordial C is active. Now a defensive calc, just to let you know, one of the things that does partner Primal Kyogre really well, it does threaten it as well, is that Mega Rayquaza with its Dragon Ascent. And you're gonna see that commonly run things like Sword Stance. So you've gotta kind of try and keep it checked with Intimidates. And even though you have Intimidate, you're probably gonna only be able to get it back down to plus one. So this calculation here is key to being able to at least deal or try to deal with Rayquaza without just instantly losing and that is a plus one 252 attack mega requires a dragon ascent so jolly Mega Rayquaza's Dragon Ascent on plus one against this Primal Kyogre is a guaranteed two hit kill. So if you're full health, you know you'll always be able to take that plus one Dragon Ascent from Mega Rayquaza. And that might be enough to give you a room to kind of steal the game away. So that is the EV spread, the nature, and just a few of the calculations. Now, stick to partners again, you're gonna see with this bulkier version are things like Primal Groudon. It's gonna be a very good partner for it. You've got the dual primals. It did so well in 2016, and I can see it doing well again into this form. Format. So you've got both weathers on the team and you can really choose and pick which one you want to go for. Normally the Kyogre in these teams is quite slow along with that Groudon. So you're looking at more predominantly a Trick Room setup here. You're going to have partners again. Mega Rayquaza is going to be another nice one to have. And I've just tagged on there Dialga as well. Something to think about going into this format. Even though it does make life a little bit harder against something like Primal Groudon. Non-restricted partners. A big one that we can see on our screen right now is going to be that Mega Gengar. It's going to have the ability to trap opposing Pokemon in on the field and you're going to be able to really utilize that weather support with your primal and that would be that weather support with primal Kyogre making sure that you're not losing control there icy wind support even trick room support from Mega Gengar are options there you're going to see the Bronzong again we've went through the reasons why it's so good support wise with these primals and then Kanto Raichu as well is going to be another option with that lightning rod fake out support nuzzle and all of the other supporting options it has available to it. Some Pokemon check definitely and I don't know how often we're going to see it but Palkia will wall Primal Kyogre pretty much all day long with its Dragon and Water typing. You're going to have things like Ferrothorn especially if you go on a slow bulky Kyogre is going to be under speeding you and really threatening you with those grass type attacks and because it's so bulky it's going to be able to just eat those water type attacks up all day long. 
And then obviously again is Ludicolo. We mentioned it was a good partner in the previous slide, but this one, again, it's gonna be something that you need to be very careful of and have some nice checks against to help out Primal Kyogre. But it does suffer a bit like the Toxicroak with the inclusion and popularity of Mega Rayquaza because that Ludicolo loses its Swift Swim as long as the Airlock or the Delta streams out on the field. And Rayquaza can deal quite handily with Ludicolo. So whether its popularity stays or it probably does decrease as the format goes on but it's something to just be aware of if you are playing Kyogre. So we will move on to a few sample teams that I've put together for you guys going forward if you want to try Kyogre out in this format. I put some sample teams in the description below so you can see those sample teams on the screen in front of you. You've got the top one, the second one and the third one. There's some interesting themes to try out but like I say the Poker Piss and Roll Piss are all in the description below so if you do try them out let me know what you think of them and I hope it's a useful tool for you to have to get started within the ultra series and that's one of the things that i want to do with these guides so they are the sample teams as i say they're down in the description and uh do with them as you please my friends and uh, we will just end up with a counters and summary of Primal Kyogre. So as we said it is a water type, it's got the ability Primordial Sea, we hopefully all know what that is about now. We can see that Kyogre with that blue orb being Primal Kyogre can only have a maximum speed of 156, a minimum speed of 85 and I'd say probably at the beginning of the format you're going to see that common speed of 142 run on Primal Kyogre. But you know the benchmarks, you know it's maximum speed, there's nothing to hide, it can't have a choice scarf, there is nothing to hide. So you know if you have something faster than 156, you will be outspeeding it. If you have something slower than 85 and you're in a trick room, you will be outspeeding it. This is what I mean about knowing the speeds, these items are making these Pokemon quite linear to approach to deal with. So it makes it a little bit easier. They're very strong, don't get me wrong. And you cannot take them for granted, but you know what you need to do to get around them. Have something faster, something that can hit it very hard, supported by a partnering Pokemon, the things that Kyogre needs to protect it, and then you can really deal with it very effectively. So things that you're gonna need to support Kyogre in your team building. You're gonna need speed control. It's not the fastest Pokemon as you can see here. It's not the slowest Pokemon either. So you're gonna need some sort of speed control to help it get into positions where it can really start ripping through your opponent's team with those big powerful water type attacks. Intimidate support is another thing to tick off the list. It is very strong special defensively, but defensively it is a lot weaker. So you need to protect it from that angle and Intimidate support is very useful with Primal Kyogre. Grass and Electric Check, so they're very important things to have. A Lightning Rod user would be very useful to have with Kyogre to really neutralize any sort of electric type of threat, especially some, something like Tapu Koko, Mega Manetric, or just a ground type in there as well to help alleviate those weaknesses. Grass types, you've got Mega Rayquaza, Flying types in general are gonna be great checks for all of those grass types that do threaten it as well. Redirections, very nice, something like Clefairy, Togekiss, Amoongus, all things Smeagol as well, that will be beneficial to Kyogre, help keep it around on the field as long as possible because the longer it's around on the field, the more damage it will be doing and making it very difficult for your opponent to actually take the win in that match and the last thing that I'm going to mention that you really need to have when playing one of these primals specifically Kyogre is pivot support so you want something like Tapu Koko Mega Manetric with that quick fast Volt Switch so you can Volt Switch out switch Kyogre out on the opposite side when you're doing this so you Volt Switch into the Kyogre get your weather back up and get back into a really strong position going into the next turn now you've got slow pivot options as well like Incineral that we've seen do so well in this format. Landorus is another option but there are lots of options there but it is a very strong thing to have alongside your Primal Weathers and will support it a lot better than not having it in your team at all. Pokemon threats, we went through a lot of them in the sample spreads and sets, but just to, to reiterate those, they're gonna be Primal Groudon, Cortana, Tapu Koko, Rayquaza, Zekrom, Mega Manetric, all things that give it a very hard time. In Pokemon walls, you're gonna see things like Palkia, Ferrothorn, Ludicolo, Toxicroak, Gastrodon, and Dialga. So it's good just to have answers against those specific Pokemon so you have ways to deal with them to alleviate Kyogre's ability to just sweep through teams and do the job that you want it to. So that pretty much, ooh, there we go, skipping slides again. But that pretty much wraps up 
all of the Kyogre guides. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. It's been a lot of fun covering it, and we've covered quite a lot of information within it. So if you'd like to go back, if you've got any questions or anything like that, go back through the video, have a look, pause it, just take some time. But if there's anything you've got questions about from the entire video, do leave them in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I hope it's been a beneficial guide for you to get you started within this Ultra Series, get a bit of an understanding of how Primal Kyogre can be played and how to play against it, what support options you need, what support options your opponent needs to protect it and what you can really do to both support it and when you're playing against it, exploit it as well to overcome it because it is a very powerful and strong Pokemon. So that is that and we'll be back with another guide tomorrow. In tomorrow's guide, we're going to be looking at Primal Groudon. It's going to be a lot of fun. Primal Groudon is extremely good in this format, with, with, but we'll leave that for that guide. So do tune in tomorrow. I really hope you have enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you all very soon. So until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.